Welcome back. In this video we're going to start um, talking a little bit further about Blueprint. I am going to be doing quite a bit of talking because this is designed for a beginner so sorry if I irritate you. Also I've had a cough for about a couple of weeks if my voice sounds kind of weird. Um, sorry I apologize for that but um, not much I can do about that. So uh, Blueprint. We're going to go ahead and we're going to see an example of Blueprint. So I sat down and I thought, well, what could, what could I do for this video uh, in terms of Blueprint? And there's just so many things you can do. I mean, you can set up gameplay, you can set up puzzles, you can set up so many different things. So I was looking around the Unreal Wiki and I noticed that there's a lot of cool Blueprint uh, tutorials and stuff on there. So if we go over here to the Help menu and you go to Wiki, it's going to take you to this Unreal 4 Wiki. And in the Unreal 4 Wiki, there's a Blueprint automated tutorial. So let me go back to the main page, which is probably what I should have done in the first place. So here's the main page. And there's lots of cool content here, lots of stuff for you to read. Um, in my experience, most people don't want to sit down and read stuff. They just want to see results. They want to get in there and do stuff. And that's one of the reasons why video tutorials are so popular. Um, so, if we go to tutorials over here, and we scroll down, we'll see that there's a lot of blueprint stuff over here um, in this category, right? Lots and lots of blueprint stuff, blueprint light switch tutorial, blueprint lift tutorial, blueprint networking, lots of cool stuff, okay? So, with this blueprint um, video that I wanted to do, I wanted to do something that was simple enough for complete beginners to basically the programming in general right not just blueprint but people who have never programmed anything but have cool ideas in their heads and a motivation to want to create some cool gameplay stuff with Unreal 4 why not right so um, I was looking through here and I saw this automated door tutorial and if we go to it it's a pretty long tutorial. It talks about a lot of different things in Blueprint. Um, if you go through this, you will learn lots of different things. How to set up components in your Blueprint. How to set up a Blueprint actor that's placeable in the level. How to set up movement and events. Lots of cool stuff that's going to help you learn Blueprint. Um, so before you ask, well, why in the world are you doing a tutorial about a tutorial? Well, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to find an example that I could put together really fast to get this video out as quickly as possible. But um, I also wanted to go ahead and do a video on something like this because a lot of times, or, or most of the time for complete beginners, it's really difficult to go through tutorials that are all text-based, right? You read through the steps, you go through step one, step two, step three. By the time you get to the 20th or, or the 30th step, um, there's a good chance just statistically it happens that you may have missed something right so maybe you're following step two down here of what the author is saying you you do the stuff that you think you're reading and then you get the wrong results and you get stuck and you start pulling your hair out and banging your head against the wall and you can't figure it out and usually you do this when you're alone in front of your computer you can't just ask a tutor or an industry pro hey how in the world do I do this it's not working right there isn't like some hotline you can call uh, to Epic Games and just ask them on the phone hey I was following this tutorial and I clicked this thing and that thing and I plugged that but the whole thing just crashed I don't know what I'm doing wrong can you help me make my game it's not gonna happen so you're pretty much on your own so this information is great and this tutorial I've looked over it it's actually really good but uh, for, com for complete beginners it can be a little bit daunting Especially if, if you scroll down, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of steps, right? So I thought, well, it might be easier for complete beginners to see somebody actually do it in front of them in a video, step by step, nice and slowly, uh, taking you by the hand. And if that's the kind of tutorial you were looking for, you came to the exact right place. Because that's exactly what I intend to do with the next series of videos, okay? So I'm going to do this uh, tutorial basically and let you see how it works. I'm going to put my own kind of twist on it and I'm going to kind of go off the beaten path so to speak and kind of do my own thing with it. The other cool thing about this tutorial, one of the reasons why I chose to, to do it this way, 
was that if um, right at the beginning uh, under overview you notice that there's these assets that are included right so if you right click on this and go to save link as you can save a zip that contains the uh, textures and materials for this door back here as well as the door frame and the door itself and don't worry about the character the character this is actually this tutorial was done using the third person uh, shooter template example I'm using the first person shooter example uh, why I don't know I like first person shooter games I also like third person shooter games let's just say I flipped the coin and the first person shooter game won so anyway um, it would be really helpful for you if you want to follow along you don't have to but if you want to to uh, go ahead and download those assets so that you can use them and follow along with the tutorial so let me jump back into Unreal and I want to show you what we're going to end up creating at the end of this tutorial right so I'm going to go to the content browser and I have a folder here called my blueprints and I create this door and it should look familiar it's the door from the tutorial we just saw and it looks like a static mesh this in fact is not a static mesh it's actually a blueprint um, even though it looks like a static mesh thumbnail so you're probably asking right now well what's the difference the static mesh is like a stick in the mud it doesn't do anything it just sits there and stares at you all day and night and doesn't do a thing a blueprint is very smart it does stuff it can follow you it can do your homework it can jump it can kick it can shoot you it can defend you against a zombie horde of enemies that are storming you blueprints can do lots of different things pretty much they can do anything that you want them to as long as you know how to tell them how to do it and that's the tricky part so uh, let me do this let me tear my content browser off here real quick and I'm gonna drag and drop this guy right here in my level alright and I'm gonna rotate this guy like so and there we go so I've got this guy right here and if I look at this guy and let me dock the content browser and jump back in over here if I look at this door it's got a few different things here okay it's got this weird yellow box that kinda goes through it in the front and the back it's also got this thing down here that says door opened if I click on it I can actually select that and I can move it and you're probably wondering well what in the world is that thing I'm gonna move this about negative 300 units I can go ahead and type that into the Z negative 300 don't worry about what I'm doing right now I just want to show you what we're gonna end up with as a final result then we're gonna worry about recreating this and making it happen so that's done okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump into the game and here's my character I'm staring right at the door and I'm gonna walk up to this door and see what happens so I'm gonna walk up to him oh we've got some steam coming out from the top and then the door opens okay we have a second door because apparently I must have dropped in two um, and not even realized it anyway the door is then gonna close the other door open bunch of crazy stuff going on um, okay so let me take this blueprint here I'm gonna get rid of it and that should do it where's that second door huh. got a second door over here and I know what that I had another door that was hidden sorry about that so I'll unhide it this is the original I was actually gonna show you this one and I had a hidden H hides them control H brings it back and I completely forgot but it's the same thing it's it's a door you walk up to it the gears start to rev up some steam comes out the door opens almost all the way so we can walk right over this little lip of the door and just keep going along our merry way and the cool thing is the door closes automatically after a little while so it's pretty it's pretty neat sort of blueprint to set up it's it's also a very easy example um, anybody can do it it's very easy to do 
and by setting this up we're going to be able to learn a lot about blueprint so if I double click on that door blueprint we're going to see we have a few different things here we've got this event graph and we've got a bunch of nodes it's actually not that many um, usually blueprints can get pretty big I've made blueprints that are just you zoom out and the whole screen's just covered in nodes and functions and all kinds of crazy stuff but this is what we have and I'm gonna teach you how to build this and I'm gonna explain every step of the process every time we connect something to something I'm gonna stop and I'm going to explain why I'm doing it, how it works, and well, why we're doing it. That way you can understand and really get a hold of this. So it might be a little bit more interesting than just reading the text tutorial. Um, you'll be able to see me actually do it, and I'll walk you through it. Okay. So, and we'll also talk about the blueprint interface, the UI, what all this stuff means. Why is there all these windows all over the place? Why is the UI gray and dark like this? We're going to be going over all this stuff. Okay, cool. So let me save that. I'm going to end this video here, and in the next one, we're going to go ahead and get started.